In this video, we're going to graph the piecewise function given below. f of x is equal to, the first rule is 2x plus 2, for x is an element of negative infinity to 2 not included, and f of x is equal to x squared plus 4 is the second rule, where x is an element of 2 included through till 5 not included. So when we're graphing a piecewise defined function, we obviously have it separated up over different domains. So overall, the domain goes from negative infinity to 2, and then up from 2 to 5. So the first one, if we draw it in red, is going to be a straight line with a gradient of 2 and a y-intercept of 2. So if we draw that on, as 2 over here has a rounded bracket next to it, it's an open circle on the graph. And now what we need to do is find the y-intercept and the x-intercept for the subdomain with the rule 2x plus 2. So 2x plus 2, if we deal with this rule at the moment, the y-intercept is going to occur when x equals 0. So if we do that, we're going to have y is equal to 2 times 0 plus 2. And that just gives y equals 2. So our coordinate is 0, 2. So we can put that on our graph over here. Now our x-intercept is going to be found when we let y equal 0. So when we do that, we have 0 is equal to 2x plus 2. If we subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, we'll find that 2x is equal to negative 2. And finally, if we divide by 2 for both sides, we get x is equal to negative 1, which gives the point negative 1, 0. So we can put that on the graph over here. And that is the coordinate of the x-intercept. The last thing we're going to do is find the coordinate of the endpoint where x equals 2. So we're just going to sub in x equals 2 into our equation. And if we do that, we get y is equal to 2 times 2 plus 2, which equals 4 plus 2, which is 6. So this coordinate is therefore going to be 2, 6. And we can put that on next to the open circle, which again indicates that it's not included on that subdomain. The next thing we need to do is deal with the second rule on the subdomain 2 to 5. So for this, we have x squared plus 4. And just by inspecting that parabola, we know that there's going to be no y-intercept because our domain does not include x equals 0. And we're also not going to have an x-intercept because it's a positive parabola and it's been moved up four units. So this isn't going to intersect the x-axis and you can check that using the discriminant. So all we need to do for this rule is to find the endpoints. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sub in x equals 2 from this point here. And when we do that, we're going to get 2 squared plus 4, which is going to equal 4 plus 4 is 8, which gives us the coordinate 2 comma 8. So we can put this on, and because the 2 has a square bracket next to it, it's going to be a coloured in dot. And this is going to be the point 28. Next, we substitute in x equals 5, which is the other endpoint on our domain just here. So when we do that, we get 5 squared plus 4, which is going to be 25 plus 4, which is 29. So we get the coordinate 5, 29 which is going to be somewhere up here, 
And because it's a rounded bracket, that's an open circle, and that's going to be 5, 29. And then all we do is we fit our parabola shape in between those points. And here we've sketched the graph of f of x, which is a piecewise defined function. So over on this slide, we've just got the function drawn out by a computer. And again, you can see the open and closed circles here, which show whether the point is included or excluded on the graph. 